Howdy folks, welcome back to another Out of Spec Bits video. If you don't recognize me, you're probably not watching enough Out of Spec Renew. Uh, but I do videos uh, mostly surrounding electric vehicle repair and doing some other uh, related EV projects and stuff on the Out of Spec Renew channel. Uh, but basically, I own an electric vehicle repair shop here in Portland, Oregon, where I repair electric cars for customers every day. And I make videos about some of the repairs that I do here in the shop. So if you're interested in seeing any of that kind of stuff, make sure to check it out on Out of Spec Renew. But what we're here to look at today is we've got this Nissan Leaf battery here, uh, which has got some pretty major failure modes. So I'll kind of show you guys around it, give you a little bit of a deep dive, and uh, we'll take a look at what exactly is going on. So as I mentioned, this is a battery pack out of a 2018 Nissan Leaf. Actually, that white one up there on the lift. This is a 40 kilowatt hour battery. And as you can see, we've got some very significant cell swelling going on here within a bunch of the modules in the pack. So much so that it's actually bent the uh, uh, compression plate here on this end and probably a bit on the other end here as well. This is the rear stack. So this contains 12 of the 24 modules within the pack. So this is literally half of the pack here. And then the other half lives in these stacks at the front portion. And you can see the frontmost stacks actually have got some swelling too on uh, some of the modules there as well. Unfortunately, this is a pretty well-known issue on higher mileage leaf packs, particularly for the 40 kilowatt hour and to some extent the 62 kilowatt hour as well. Uh, this car had about 126,000 miles on it, if I remember correctly. Um, which is not super high mileage, but it's it's up there. Um, and this is usually most prevalent on packs that have either seen a lot of DC charging or lived in hot climates. Uh, now, it's not very hot here in Portland, Oregon, so I'm going to suspect that this car probably saw a lot of DC charging at some point in its life. Uh, I mean, probably for a lot of its life, uh, to be honest. And yeah, unfortunately, this is kind of the result of what happens. Originally, this actually came in because it had two cell groups that were sagging pretty significantly under load and causing the car to be basically permanently stuck in turtle mode. And so this pack got pulled out in the hopes that potentially we could replace a single module and uh, get it back on the road again. But clearly, we've got some pretty significant issues here. So it's kind of beyond saving at this point. At least half of the modules are affected by this significant swelling, and it's just a little too far gone. The amount of swelling present here, if we, uh, if I take a peek down here with our light, you can actually see just how bent up this thing is. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but... Well, actually, you can see on the back side of that, see where the paint is missing? Normally, this should be flush with the plate back there, and they paint it after that's attached. So you can actually see just how much that's bent. But the corner of the bracket here, which contains the LBC, that's what Nissan calls their BMS. Uh, but the LBC module here lives on the end, and the edge of this bracket here, you can actually kind of see the paint is a little bit scraped off of it. And that is because these cells had so much swelling that it actually pushed this LBC module all the way out and this bracket actually punctured through the lid. So this is actually the lid from the top of the battery and on the corner here is where that bracket for the LBC would be. Actually if I take my light and stick it in there you can see that's punctured all the way through from uh, just the swollen cells. So yeah unfortunately pretty common issue I've been in touch with the customer to see how they want to proceed. I'm recommending uh, a full pack replacement. Uh, there are some used low mileage packs that would be suitable to put back into this thing and get it on the road again. But depending on what this customer decides they want to do, you know, they, uh, they may not opt to do that. So anyway, we'll see what they end up doing. And, uh, one way or another, this car will probably be back on the road, whether it's under this customer's ownership or if they decide to sell it on to somebody else. But anyway, that's pretty much it. By the way, if you have any interest in seeing how uh, some of these repairs go and the kind of stuff that I go through day to day, 
fixing these electric cars, make sure to uh, go and check out Auto Spec Renew. Maybe subscribe, check out some of the videos there. But anyway, yeah, bad news on this one.